some folks may recognize what this tool is. This is a uh, it's made for compressing um, F connectors so on coax lines. You used to get them from Radio Shack. Probably still can. It's a crimper. What I did in, is uh, I welded a, a bolt and then ground it kind of round to this outer. And I can still use it to crimp 75 ohm cable anyway, which I never have crimped the smaller. Welded a uh, bolt in here and rounded it with a file. And I did that so I could make that. Uh, that is a uh, to prevent the hose from blowing off the uh, off the lines. So I need to make. Um, I've modified a couple. Of, I've had to cut my tubing in a couple places, and uh, this is uh, my best attempt at well, an attempt to create that ridge that the clamp will. When you push the silicone hose up, you put a clamp behind it, and then you kind of lucky it won't try to blow over top of that. Uh, I'm not overly concerned that it's not perfect but it's close but I want to demonstrate here how the how this clamp works out uh, sorry for not being more entertaining basically I come into here and I place it uh, I can't see Jack Place the, uh, you can see the bolt there when it comes to. I'm going to place this just barely right there. And I'm using a piece of tube for leverage. And then I'll just start cranking it around, clamping it in as I make a circle. It really doesn't, I guess you could probably squeeze this by hand. But bear in your grip after a while. And like I said, I'm using a cheater bar on the handle. I've got this F connector device in the clamped into in a vise so to hold it in one place. First time I kind of went around lightly. I didn't go to full clamp. Second time worked my way around. I think this can be done a lot easier if you have a bead roller. But if you ain't got a bead roller, this works. So, what I've created is a raised spot around the tube that the silicone hose can slide up on and over, and then a clamp can be behind it and it should not blow off. This is an example of the, I had to cut one of my tubes shorter. This is a factory made, and this is mine, so it's close to the same. Probably mine's a little taller, but that's, I'm not going to lose any sleep over that. Now I've got to cut my tube, and I need to make splices out of this 2-inch, hence the reason for the video.